Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Mr. Stephen Has a Dabble in a New Frontier. Hello and I hope that you are very well and uh, have been looking forward to the next edition of Mr. Stephen Has a Dabble. Here it is and we're back in New Frontier. I did audio. Uh, it's not sorted out yet, not completely. You can hear the hiss in the background when I'm talking. Uh, that's something I need to do something about. Unfortunately, I need to have some air conditioning on, and that's where most of the sound's coming from. Um, but yeah, we will sort things out so that they are better in future. Having said that, um, today we're going to start to do farming. We've got uh, we've got to use as many different resources, we'll grow as many different resources as possible. And uh, in future, there's going to be things uh, that will help us do that. You know, we're going to have um, other things connected to it. But, uh, just for the time being, um, uh, just let me change this to, to that instead, sorry. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, in future we're going to have things that's going to help us do that, you know, we're going to have machines and things because that's the way that it always works. We haven't got any machines at the moment, so well, let's have a play and see what we can do just by ourselves. So we're going to need uh, a few bits of iron and some buckets and stuff. Well, let's jump into the game now. Oh, yes, I'm display capturing today, of course. Um, right, back into the game. Uh, if you remember, this is where we are. This is our little... Um, hut, we've got uh, a lava lake down here, we've got a little tunnel in here, and we've got some of that there. Now, over here, I can see some iron, and we're going to need to get some iron. Now, I've got a feeling that that's going to be a good night. We're going to have to use at least three iron to get some buckets, but we want to make some better tools as well, if we can. Um, and I'm just going to stick the F7 key on there as well. I notice there's some iron there as well. Oh, I've got 11 resources. Now, the other thing that we need to build relatively quickly is going to be a smeltery as well, because that would ch change what we've got here, these 11 resources, into 33 resources, which would be much better for us. So let's look up smeltery. We need these seared tiles, don't we? These seared bricks, there we go. Which is grout in a brick. Now grout is sand and clay and gravel and clay. And we've got clay. Luckily, we've had we have some clay. Uh let's figure out figure out like, like, like. Can't talk tonight. Uh, let's figure out what we need, because we need all of this stuff as well, so we need tons of seared bricks. Um uh, I'm going to look up. I'm going to go online. Online is useful. Um, I don't get the pawn. Um, okay, and we're going to look at uh, an amount of seared bricks for smeltery. I've got a feeling it's, yeah, 100, 104 seared bricks. And it tells you the raw materials needed as well um doo -doo -doo -doo. fifty two sand clay gravel and fuel okay if fifty two at least fifty two so let's let's start looking at that as well. But let's do farming first. Farming is important. Uh, I should say I'm on here today with some real human people as well. Um, uh, so Tallulah, who who's just popped up there, uh, is there a solar eclipse? Uh, says Arasok and Tallulah. They were both uh, members of the herd, even if they're not mem members of Battle Cattle. Um, and because of that, they're allowed to join the server. Isn't that nice? So I want to get as much of this clay as possible. Uh, although I've got to be careful because obviously there's a there's a lava block there. Although the lava block doesn't seem to be wanting to move anyway. So we'll we'll keep that where it is. Okay. 
And we have got that. We're going to need to do uh, coal. Um, here's some coal. Um, because we haven't got a smeltery to begin with. We're going to want to put that and... That. And we'll just we'll do that for the time being. Um, oh. Oh, it's daytime, but it's it's not very nice daytime. Um, right, we're going to be doing some flattening because we need some uh, sort of farm areas here. We're going to be using the shovel to do it. Actually, I don't know why I've just done that because. What I'm trying to do is flatten the majority of stuff because there's a load of bits of it. I, I thought, well, that was a silly thing to try. Um, but we can run around here and grab some of this grass up. I've been grabbed by the grass. Because uh, the grass is going to make seeds, seeds that we can plant, and that's important. And like I said, we're going to need a bucket, but we're kind of half there already. I'm collecting seedlings. Those are my feelings. I've got a new achievement there, flower child, which means I can. I'm the, I'm the child of flowers. Before I started, I thought oh, I'll get myself a drink so that if I get thirsty on stream, I can actually do um, do something about it. But I forgot to bring a drink with me because I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's just clean some of this stuff out here. Um, now we're going to need to get our bucket, which we haven't made yet, remember? Um, I don't think there's a cheaper way of making buckets in here, so uh, we'll stick all of this stuff, this sort of greenish stuff, in here for the time being. Uh, we'll put coal back there. That's more greenish stuff. Oh, it's raining. I hope that's rain and not something else. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, there we go. It's raining. Um, we've got we've got eleven iron now, which has uh, given us a, a new achievement. We need that bucket because that bucket's going to be useful um, for stuff. I'm also going to make a pickaxe with some of this iron. And what is that? A magma cube pet. Walk on lava. Favorite for inventory. Pet. I've not looked at inventory pets yet, but that seems it gives you fire resistance. That might be quite a good thing. Now you might be able to hear a plane that's going overhead. I believe they are some sort of mil military maneuvers. I don't know. Um... Right now we're going to use this bucket, and we're going to use. Uh, the hoe. I just want to check, actually, that whether worms exist in this pack. They do. Uh, they're pretty useful species. Will help you till the the thing. They're in the actually editions manual. Uh, worms are pretty good in a three by three area. Uh, worms can be gotten by simply tilling the grass with a hoe. If you want to remove a worm, break the block that it's on. So what we're wanting, right, is the worms. The worms are the most important thing. And you see I've got two there already. And it doesn't matter because, uh, you know... There we go, there's three. Oh, blimey, it's getting dark. Four... Seven. Seven all of a sudden is much better. Let's go and... Um, now, I've got to... Um, I've got to see if the other people on the server want to sleep or not, you see. Um, so I'm going to bed now. 
Uh, so yeah, okay, ten minutes in, I'll explain what we're doing. <laughs> and we've got some worms. Ooh, worms. Worms are great. Um, in fact... Hey, there we go. Fantastic. That must be daytime. And I'm wondering, actually, if Arasork is having a problem with things. Since he's just jumped off two things. Right, now, so, the I yeah, you see, he's just departed. Now, the idea about what we're doing here is we're collecting all of these worms. And I'm going to need to make a, a new hoe as well. That's easy enough. Easy enough to do. We won't even bother using the iron one. We'll just use uh, normal cobblestone, because why not? Because in this version of Minecraft, you don't need the hoes that you think, that you think you're going to. 14 there. Now, the trick is, you see, I need 12 different crops. Which means that for each... I've got enough now to get started. Brilliant. So for each crop... God, I've made a mess of this place. <laughs> Thankfully, I, this will all get cleared up at some point. So for each crop, I want to hoe around a bit. This is, <laughs> That's not a, a euphemism. Um, for each crop, what I want to do is to just make a, a, a sort of a little space and then sort of decide what I want to plant. So let's just make sure this is all clear of grass for the time being. Um, and then we're going to put a, a worm down. And you want to, to have a space, so I want to put a worm there. And that's going to do a 3x3 three three area. So it's, it's going to do all of this area here. So I wanna also want to put another one there. And there. And then I think I'm going to go up there, because that makes it a bit easier to, to sort of fill in the blanks, as it were. There. There and there. Just check that that's right. There. There. And there, you see we've got three left, which will go there, there, and there. And you see what we've done here is we've made a field that we can plant stuff in. That's the idea anyway. Um, and we'll see which bits of these get turned into blocks and which don't. Because I think I may have missed, made a bit of a miscalculation there. Uh, you see, um, but that's all right. We can we can sort of actually let's, let's do this and see what happens. See whether or not it actually keeps it as, as tilled land. As it may do, it might not. And the bits that don't go back to proper grass, um, we can you know we might be able to put a path on or something like that. You see, uh, you see, we need right. Okay, so I'm going to dig up this area. And I'm going to dig up this area. And we'll just put paths in between the two. So, uh, again, I'm going to fill it up with dirt to begin with. But I'm doing that so it doesn't take quite as long to turn back into just normal dirt, because sometimes I've left these things and they just take ages to change. Because um, we want all of that to go back to proper grassland. Um, and it will do, over time. Uh, but until until now, uh, that, that's it. Right, so what are we going to plant? Let's have a look and see uh, the stuff that we've got. We have got... Uh, we've got an ender lily here. That's useful. Okay, we must plant the ender lily. They're incredibly useful. 
We've also got peanuts. This is all stuff from Pam's Harvest Craft, so that's, that's useful. Flax seeds are useful. They are very useful. Uh, we've got a potato there. We can have a look at peanuts. But barley, we don't have very much in terms of wheat. We've got seeds there, so we've got some wheat. That is wheat. Cucumber number. Uh, chili peppers. Mustard seeds. Uh, what else? Melon, I seem to think. How do we make a melon? Hmm. I think we need to start seeing to start looking at blocks before I can really get my head around that. Because I don't know how all of this works. So, okay, we've got stuff to plant, and we'll have to plant as much other stuff as possible as well. So, uh, seeds first. We've got 13 of them. But we don't want to do much more than a little uh, area. So we'll do a 3x3 three three area, I think. Uh, so that should be row in there. Um, what's that? Barley and cotton. We won't have barley and cotton. And we want to plant the corn next, I think. Corn, corn. And then potatoes. And then we've got Cucumber, chilies and peanuts. That's the next line. You've got to remember that when all of this is grown, we should get some more stuff from it. So whilst we might not have a whole field full of, of, of stuff right now, we will do in the future. And with the amount of stuff we're going to have to eat, well, there's a reason for doing that. Anyway, uh, flax seeds are really useful because at some point you're going to start to want string. And what flax seeds do is allow you to have string um, without actually spending too much time collecting the string. Uh, let's see if we can get anything interesting again. Like I said, most of today is just going to be this wandering around and collecting stuff and then planting interesting seeds and things. Uh, but the reason that we're doing this, of course, is so that we can have a variety of things to eat. Um, and of course, in the future, we will go over farmers and we'll, we'll get farmed and everything. Now, we've got some sand around here. In fact, we're on sand. Ooh, what's that? That's aquamarine shale. That's a new one. Um, and you see, I've claimed some chunks here. I don't know if I... I think I, I think I showed that yesterday. Uh, okay, so what else have we got in here? Uh, mystical stuff, that's great but not useful. Um, fluffy Puff, not sure what they do. Barley, more seeds, and beans. We've got two beans, so we'll plant the beans. We plant the beans, nature harvest the beans. No, nature's... I don't even know. We sow the beans, that's what I mean. Okay, and what I want to do with these, I wanted to show you, but actually it's not not growing very fast. So, we'll do that later. Right, uh, I can also see over here, we have some of this stuff. Which is incredibly useful, because it lets you grow more of this stuff. So I'm going to bring this over here, and I'm going to put this by the water, still. Uh... And you can plant it in the water by the look of it. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, we will kind of keep this and watch it grow and then expand the amount that it's growing. Uh, now, luckily, there's tons and tons of grass around here. So there's loads of stuff that we can pick up. Uh, oh, we got rice. Excellent. Rice is nice.
What have we got now? We've got more seeds, barley, that and that, and cotton, not useful. Fluffy Puff rice seeds that we've got, and we've got some actual rice. So uh, it's getting on for night time. We're going to plant our Fluffy Puffs. And our rice seeds. Uh, and then we are going to retire for tis night. Um, and then we're going to start this over here. It's going to be our food chest. We'll put nothing but food in it. So what I want to do is pull out everything from there, which is an actual food store. Store. Food stuff. I think all of this is an actual food stuff, isn't it? Uh, the pitcher plant isn't. Okay, I think that's everything. And what we want is everything that is edible. We'll put in here. Well, we didn't put the ender lily down. Can we just... No, it's too dark. Um... Again, uh, I'm just going to... Well, I, that that's it, basically. Um, this is today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we're sort of stuck not being able to do anything about charts, but we've kind of reached a 20-minute mark. We've done some farming. We've got our first farm up. That's really important. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be doing a little bit more of this and what i didn't realize is that you could see the obs interface when i was doing that anyway uh hope you've enjoyed what we've been doing today uh if you have please hit the like button um and if you're new here please subscribe uh if not please don't tell anybody about it and we'll pretend it didn't happen if you want to check out the things that we've got around there please do and until next time thanks for watching <laughs>